mind when we was in Lamar Circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was born in 93, 95, man. We moved to the, uh, on Ashwood in Parkway Village. So, yeah, I'm on Parkway Village, man. I've been there since 95. Like, I saw the interview with the, uh, with the nigga like OG TRJ, and he was talking about, like, how it was OG before me on them. Like, I didn't see all this shit back when Big June with them had this shit. Like, them 90s, you know what I'm saying? Real deal, 90s teenagers, you know what I'm saying? Parkway Village. <coughs> yeah, I've been there. Speaking of the Parkway Village, man, give me a little bit of history on the Parkway Village. Like, what was it like coming up in the Parkway Village, man, for you? Man, this shit was fun. Man, this shit was so fun, bro. Like, I got Hold on, hold on. Anybody ever told you you look like Ace Hood? Who <laughs> <laughs> well, I get this shit all the time? I swear to God. Ah, okay, okay. Go. I swear to God. Bro. All right, go ahead. Man, it, it was fun though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was all fun until shit got bad. Like we was outside, all the fifty deep in the project location. I'm talking about playing football. We had a big ass field. That's why I whooped my two bullets that I whooped the nigga. Well, I called the Charles nigga in the field. Man, we playing manhunt with BB guns and shit, man. We were, hey, we known for stealing bikes and shit, so we were stealing bikes and man, all kind of shit, bro. This shit was so fun, man. Man. So we got hooping. All kind of shit. Give me some of your, uh, some of your childhood friends growing up over there. Shit, all right. Uh, of course, Lee Mula. That was my right hand. That was my dog. You know what I'm saying? I had all my cousins, the beautiful man, little Fred, Lee Man, uh, Man, Skeeter. Now, Sleepy, Slam, Baby's uh, Bands, man. Right, the list goes on, bro. DeAndre, Thero, Big Car, Cartier, man, Lil Ruben. Lil Ruben. Man, it's so, it's so many of us, bro. This shit don't make no sense, bro. Man. My uh, Lil C, I can't forget Lil C. Lil, it was Lil C, Lil Red, Lil D, my Lil Preston, Prop G. My shit, we were Prop G first friend. You know, hey, as this little series go on, you're gonna hear a lot about the young nigga Prop G. What, he a favorite too. what, what was what was your household like, bro? Was it single parent, mom, mom, deuce, and daddy? What was it like? Nah, I grew up with my mom and my dad. My daddy, he was uh, he was always in the streets though. Like my daddy, he was a, remember back in the day, them niggas had them throw pop. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah, my daddy was a throw pop man. You know what I'm saying? They used to be in the park tapping and shit, him on the phone now. So yeah, he had, he, uh, yeah, I had so, my mom and dad. Though. So, uh, having your mom and your pops. How different was that uh, growing up? Did you have a lot of friends that didn't have both parents? Yeah, a, lo- a lot of them did. See, you can have a mom and dad in the same house and shit. Like, I really can't hear you that good either, bro. Your audio kind of low. And it's just still low? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, uh. Yeah, a couple of my folks came over with no mom and no daddy, but like, this shit really ain't like, stopped nothing. They ain't show no signs of them being bitter about this shit, you know what I'm saying? Bad, bad, yeah, bad. Yeah. So give me, give me uh, some Parkway Village experiences, bro. You said you and D. Moolah were friends, bro. So how, how, give me how far you and him go back, G. My man, it'll go all the way back to down there. I uh, like oh four oh five some shit like that. Like I said, I caught bread. Like I was in twenty nineteen Georgetown, and on the other side of the pool, there was his sister house. But I knew his big brother first. I saw bread trying to get in the house. Shit, you know I me, mean? I'm bad. I'm walking up like, man, what you doing, bro? Like you trying to break in? So out. You're like, no, nah, really, my really my sister house. And since then, like, man, we've been locked in. The big kept me in some shit though. Like it might be goddamn bad. Even one of the experiences. Give me one of these experiences where D Moolah kept you in some shit, bro. Man, I know it. I know everybody wanna hear this story. This is when my like on the on the other interview I was telling you like them folks like when they had to pick a side, right? 
Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, listen. So we ain't going to act like, like I said, we did this interview before. So the last interview, let me kind of narrate it a little bit. You was talking about, like you said, it was the Hoovers. I mean, no, uh, it was the Crips. Now it was the Hoovers. It was the Hoovers and the, and the Avenues. And, and uh, it, was, it was basically... The who was the bad nooses and the nine nooses. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? The nine nooses in the avenue, they was always like this. Really, all of them were like this. So they said, man, inherited that heat. You know what I'm saying? And it, and, it, and it went like this. Okay, so it was the hood falling out. In some way, you and D Moolah ended up on the wrong side of the hood, basically. We ended up in the middle of this shit. In the middle of it. So take it from there. How did y'all end up in the middle of, of a hood conflict? And neither one of y'all Hoover, y'all ain't, that ain't damn one of y'all gang, right? Yeah. So let's get into it. I, uh, my, 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 my little brother Marlo called me, bro. He was like, damn, what y'all got going? Let me see something. I'm talking, he's talking about, I didn't try to. Folks, somebody bitches on. You know, yeah. they were me and my nigga. I'm like, what's your name? Like, when I'm saying, you and Lee, who like playing both sides? I'm like, oh, shit, there they go, this shit. I'm like, cuz, what you talking about? So, my nigga, Ms. Dre in the background, he's like, man, once they come to that line, they gotta stay there. Yeah. I'm like, what's that? I'm like, man, you know, I'm like, what's that? Cause I'm like, what's that? Cause I'm like, what's that? 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 So, man, we done hung up the phone. I done called uh, Moola. I told him about it. He was like, man, this shit crazy. Like, he ain't no shit fade, but he like, man, this shit crazy. In my head, I'm like, I hope this man ain't doing no crazy ass shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because he known to do crazy ass shit like this. I ain't no telling what he over, but like, he was always in shit. When you say crazy ass shit, shit, like, okay, you gave him this information. So when you say crazy ass shit, like what's some shit that D Moolah known to do? You told him this, so what's some shit you thought he would he would have went and did? It wouldn't have been no too much fucked up shit. It probably would have been like he like bro, like he, he fucked with them. Like we all fucked with them. But you know what I'm saying? Sleepy Sleepy had a lot, whole lot of love for Moolah too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, bro, cause like I don't know if somebody saw him over there. He was on the video or something. I still don't know to this day. But like I said, my lord is from bro. I was like, shit, bro. If it's dead, like, and on top of this, he probably be my nigga too. So y'all gonna take a, y'all gonna believe a rumor over my word to mouth, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we all got pride. And I'm like, bro, we ain't gonna believe it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? My lord is with Mula. They were they were my brother. You know what I'm saying? And they were, they were my biggest down for still to this day. Lord, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So, huh? Back. So check it out, y'all in the middle of the situation, bro. Tell them about the basketball game incident. Y'all at the basketball game. All right, boom. My head, I had just got over the flu. Man, the doctor made a uh, prescribe me some little drinks. So, and you know me, man. I'm, I'm really mad. I, I really feel like I'm being played with in a way. Dude. Like, these my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Majority, I'll leave my little young niggas. Like, I didn't put, you know what I'm saying, majority of them, and they first little put down from the cliques, you know what I'm saying? PIL, me and Dante and them, and, and uh, me and Dante, Stank, Lil Duke, all of us, like, we, you know what I'm saying? We been, you know what I'm saying, putting on, putting these down little cliques and shit, so, and I'm really good to play with, like, damn, my little brother never trying to go against the niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, man, we go to the game. I got the all red and like the outfit on. We walk in this joint, the whole jam split get quiet, like all eyes on us, me and Mula. It was weird going around, you know what I'm saying? You see little D or you see little D like smash. So I think brother reached out to little Pete. And uh me and brother reached out to Pete, you know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, we good, we straight him a little uh dead. So like man, we got real B cuz man, this shit ain't no, we straight. You know what I'm saying? So we go to the game. It's half on that, you know what I'm saying? These the cores, you know what I'm saying? It was DP, Lil' Cores, C-Murder, Freehound, uh, Lil' Smoke, I look at Lil' Smoke, 